All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. A uh, quick video today. It's on EC135 rotor brake pucks, the rotor brake linings. We're going to do a replacement on that. It's actually really simple, super simple, but there's a, like one or two little things that get overlooked, like the spring. Anyway, we're going to go over that real quick. It's going to be a short video. The brake linings or the brake pucks or the brake pads, whatever you want to call them, they're helicopter, or helicopter. <laughs> they're motorcycle brake pads, Brembo. Part number from Airbus, there's two part numbers. Part number L635Mike10X2101. That's the part number. If you order the old part number 107 period BB01 period 06, you're going to end up getting the other ones anyway. I don't know what the difference is. All right, moving on. So we go in the EC135 maintenance manual, AMM 6351008-1. That is the replacement of the brake linings of the rotor brake system. It's not hard. Okay, there's a couple notes you're going to want to read it. They want you to clean the brake caliper on the removal. All right, that's not a big deal. We're just going to go straight down to the installation. Anyway, the installation, simple, slide them in. But this part is an issue. I found the spring installed incorrectly a handful of times and the maintenance manual, the translation isn't super clear. It's kind of awkward. So anyway, scroll all the way down, install the spring on the brake caliper so that the arrow on the spring central bar points anti-clockwise in the brake discs direction of rotation. Okay, don't get confused. It's in the brake discs direction of rotation. The arrow on the spring points counterclockwise or anti-clockwise, all right? It's not confusing, even though it sounds confusing when you read it. Also, the spring has a wider end. The wider end goes towards the braided line. Also, don't put it in upside down. The rounded side of the spring points downwards toward the brake linings. Okay, that's not hard. All right, sometimes you have to push that spring down to slide the bolt in. It's a, uh, it has, the bolt has pressure on the spring, holding it down. There's the arrow, direction of rotation. All right, man, after you push that down, you put in the screw and the brake caliper from the transmission side so that the screw shank is above the spring. Not hard, okay? Install washer and nut on the screw. Tighten the nut so that the connection does not bind and the screw still retains free movement. All right, so you know, you, you barely snug it up, barely. All right, super simple, not hard. Don't put the spring in backwards, all right? Keep up the good work, guys. Oh yeah, and just remember, look at the maintenance manual, read the maintenance manual, read the notes, read the cautions. The maintenance manual changes sometimes. I had to take one of the videos offline. I still got to update it because the maintenance manual changed. So just a heads up. All right, that's it. I hope you guys found some value in this video. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you guys next time. All right, later.